Hi everyone, I am here at the On the Water location for the 75th annual Seattle Boat Show. This is the outdoor venue. We are here at Bell Harbor. As you can tell, they've cleared out the marina in preparation for loading the boats in this week. The indoor venue will be at Lumen Field, home of the Seattle Seahawks. It is back in this direction over here. Let's check out the show. And welcome back. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. The boat show takes place in two different locations. The primary indoor location is just south of here um, at Lumen Field. That's the home of the Seattle Seahawks. That's also where Allie is working. Her company, Union Marine, is the primary sponsor of the show. And I am down here at Bell Harbor Marina, which is located in the heart of downtown Seattle. That's This is where the on the water portion of the show is. Can't wait to take a look at some of the boats that they have here. Looks like they have a really good selection. Uh, looks like they have some cats on the, on the water as well as some very large motor yachts. We'll try to bring you some tours of some of our favorites over the next couple of weeks. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So why don't we go ahead, head into the show and start looking around. So we're here at the 75th annual Seattle Boat Show. All kinds of different boats here on the water. Right ahead is the Ocean Alexander 27E. We gave you a tour of this particular yacht in a previous episode. The link will be down below. It is a beautiful boat. And uh, should we ever win the lottery, this is definitely on our list of items to look at. <laughs> so. Cruiser's yacht. Not quite sure which ones we're going to take yet. Oh, looks like we have a power cat over here, Fountain Peugeot. We're going to definitely take a look at the power cat here. I know they have a power cat inside the Lumen Event Center. It's going to be a little bit smaller. I think it's only like a 42 or 43 footer. This is, I um, quite can't tell. Take a look at it when we get over there. Definitely in the probably the 50 foot range, I'm guessing. Maybe 52. Looking forward to uh, giving a tour of that one. Of course, the nice thing about the outdoor show is they can actually feature both sail and power boats. Don't have a lot of sailboats inside the Lumen Event Center. The masts are just too tall. That's one thing I want to go check out now are the two sail cats before I hop on the bus to head back to Lumen Field which is where Allie is at the moment, and check out the indoor show. Although, there's not gonna have anywhere near the size of boats inside. Maybe a few, but not, not like what we're looking at here. So, it's been a great show so far. Okay, let's go take a look at the Fountain Peugeot, Astrea 42. Gonna head up directly to the bow. I really like the fact that there's no trip hatches here. They're flush mounted and they actually have a little bit of drains. So everything will drain away from them. Really smart idea. You have your dolphin seats, a little bit of a trampoline up here. You have a little bit of a raised Helm. We'll check that out here in a second. All your rigging. You have your furler up front. I think that's what it's called. I'm not a sailor, so correct me in the comments down below. Let's take a look 
at the inside as well. That's interesting. Maybe this is something that I'm not used to, but they actually just use a winch, a little winch connector on the waist rather than the old key. Is that something that's new? I haven't seen that before. Comment down below. <laughs> so we have it here in the fuel yeah, as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Nice little comfortable yeah, salon. Absolutely. Over here. <laughs> Should say comfortable cockpit. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. What do you think? Nice, very nice. Okay, really comfortable raised home station. Fully enclosed, protect you from the weather. Another couple of steps, get you out here to the boom. But even with the enclosure, you still have great visibility. All the controls come directly here. I think what I would like though is to have the controls, all the winches be within arm's reach while under control. Otherwise you do have to walk around to the front in order to access them. Sailors out there, go ahead and leave your comments below. See what you think about that. Now let's try and head inside. It's pretty crowded in there, so we have to wait. As we step aft on the which side are we on? We're on the port side, so port aft. No full size berth. As well as an ensuite shower, electric your toilet, sink. Well, not the tour that I was hoping to show you, but just too, just too crowded today. Same thing on the new Lagoon 42. It's very popular, so not going to be able to give you a tour as much as I would have liked to. Okay, so now we're going to head down to Lumen Field. One of the challenges here when you're at a boat show, and this boat show is, you know, hasn't been held for the last two years. Um, it was a virtual show last year, so the crowds are pretty big. I can only imagine what they're going to be like at the indoor stadium. And so it makes it a little more difficult to show you all the boats and give you a, a good in-depth tour. But we're gonna head down to Lumen Field now where Allie is, we'll say hi to her. She's busy at work, but we'll give you a taste of what's like inside and uh, hopefully enjoy it. So I am headed over now to the shuttle bus that's gonna take me over to Lumen Field. I will see you when we get there. Okay, here I am at the Lumen Field Event Center and look who I found. Yep, I have uh, been working now two days for the show, but actually probably longer than that for setup. It's about a three day setup for marketing. And uh, we've actually, sorry for the masks, but that is mandate for this year. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep us all safe and especially us because we leave for the BBIs in three weeks. Yep. And we want to stay safe. But um, surprisingly, this is Saturday and the traffic has actually been really really great yeah it was busy down downtown at, at, at bell, bell harbor. harbor yeah 
Yeah, yeah, so the preliminary numbers are actually good. Ticket sales actually surpassed uh, 2020. So that's actually really good, too. Yeah, so, that's really good. Um, and you were trying to get on the catamaran over there, and there's a bit of a line. Yep. So lines are back. And uh, so, and there's boats to be had here. You can see Scott will give you a big tour. Maybe later in the week, I'll give you a tour as well mm -hmm. and kind of show you around. What we are noticing is there's not as many vendors. Yeah, the so side vendors. The yeah. side vendors. You'll notice that upstairs. Uh, go take yeah. a look up there. Those used to be wall to wall. They're really only in the center. The out, out around here is really not a lot of vendors. Mm -hmm. But there are still quite a few, so yeah. uh, it's a great show. It's nice to be back in person to a big show, and uh, it looks great. So. Yep, and if I hadn't mentioned, this is actually the largest boat show on the West Coast, mm -hmm. and it's in the top five nationwide. Yep. And so I've heard top three, top five, just depends on which you know list you're looking at and what they're measuring and stuff like that. But this is a large boat show. It is huge. Yeah, it's, it's uh, typically about 210,000 square feet. We are not quite there this year because we had, a, you know, it was a little smaller due to inventory and due to COVID, but we pushed close to 200, mm -hmm. so uh, it's a great show. Yep, and you guys take, what, 45,000? Uh, we take up about uh, just under 40. So we just are the 40. largest. Okay. Uh, Union Marine is the largest um, uh, exhibitor in the show, and they're also the presenting sponsor. So you'll see Union Marine all over the place. We'll go over and we'll say hi to uh, the folks at Roche Harbor. Okay. I haven't seen them yet today. Is it Roach? Is it Roche? Or is it Roche? It's Roach. Roach. As in the Roach. As in like the bug. Okay. Yep. We got corrected in our episode for uh, Roche Harbor. Yeah. When I mean, you want to make it sound a little, it's like Target or Target. Yeah. When I mean, you want to make it a little, you know, a little spice it up a little bit. Hello. Good. How are you? Good, good. So here at the boat show, you'll be able to find just about anything you want. What's behind me right now is the main hall. It is just loaded with boats. Again, this is uh, the largest boat show here on the West Coast. And there are multiple halls. This is actually one of only four halls um, in the boat show here inside Lumen Field. You have the main hall here. You have the East Hall, you have the con, um, concourse, and then you have one that's actually inside the football stadium itself. So we'll go through all four of them, just to give you a kind of an idea of what's available to you. But if you're looking for anything boating, you'll find it here, including 40-foot Beneteau Oceanus, a 12-foot Scamp, a 520 Prestige, tow boats, cruisers. So we're on the second floor of the boat show. And typically this would just be lined up one after another after another of vendors. Uh, there are quite a few vendors here right now. However, they seem to be spaced out a little bit more. And the ones that are here are actually taking up a lot more space than we've seen in the past. Here we have in the central location, all this open space. This would have been vendor after vendor after vendor. However, uh, due to COVID, the output, however, due to COVID, there aren't as many vendors here this year. But that's okay, at the, at the end of the day, it's all, all about the boats, and there's plenty of boats here to be had. So now we're gonna head into the East Hall. The East Hall is mainly comprised of different services, things such as marinas, some supplies like anchors here, lots of trailers, scuba gear, charter services over here we have bedding we have boat wraps through prism graphics now we're getting into areas such as portable docks permanent docks we also have some classic boats in here much like the portland boat show that we looked at a couple weeks ago check out the link down below we have a variety of Classic yachts here, Chris Crafts, some just beautiful boats, some hydros, old school hydros. Wow, very cool. Yeah. So, this is just the corridor that leads to 
I'm in the corridor that leads to the North Hall. And let's see what they have this year. So looks like it's a little bit light on the vendors. However, what you'll do find are some dinghy providers or dinghy dealers. Here we see the whaleys, some wakeboards, some more equipment. Here you get into more pontoons. And a little bit more of the more of the fishing. Now that now that we're actually in the North Hall, you'll actually see a little bit more of the fishing boats. These are the typically more um, steel, aluminum hull type of boats. We see the state of football. So here we have, I believe these are helmets that represent all of the high schools within the state of Washington, or a good portion of them. And again, we see more of the fishing style boats in the North Hall. This is actually part of the football stadium. So if we look up here, you can actually see where the stands would be right here. And here we have all of the dinghies. We have this giant one here. I think this is a Honda at the end. Yeah, this is quite the tender. The Revo 21, sporting a Honda 225 VTEC. You're gonna have to have a pretty big boat in order to make this your, uh, your tender, but boy, that'll get you anywhere in comfort. That is nice. This is the Fountain Peugeot 40, let's see, this is the MY 4.S. So I went on the 44 at the On The Water show I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get into this boat. There are so many people here today. And again, like I said, a lot of people are just wanting to get back to the show. So I'm gonna do my best, to see if we can't get a little bit of footage inside. But uh, just a quick walk around so you can get a taste of what this boat is all about. Okay, thank you. That's cool, they had the barbecue down there, kind of out of the way, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, nice little salon here, aft galley, plenty of storage, kind of a small refrigerator freezer on it. Plenty of seating though, comfortable. Nice home station. Oh, it actually has thrusters on it as well. Let's see what we have here to starboard. So starboard we have mirrored berths with a shared head. Don't flush the head. It's a wet head. Beauty of the power cat is you get the stability that the cat has with you know, but it's the power. Yeah, careful, you gotta come out. Sneak in here real quick. This is the owner's side hole. I will say it's a lot smaller in here than I anticipated. Interesting little. Half wall shower, it says semi dry head. Interesting, interesting layout. Excuse me. Head out to the bow. Nice walkways, huge sun pad here to lay out. Lots of recessed hatches, plenty of um, cup holders. It does have solar, 
I do like that it does have some roof racks so that you can put your gear up above. I do like that they do have these little cutouts here to help with the cross ventilation in the windows. Heading back to the stern. Nice. Well, I hope you like that overview of the boat show. I'm gonna head over to Bell Harbor again so I can walk home from there. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and most importantly, please subscribe. Send it to all your family and friends and have them subscribe too. We'd really appreciate it. It really helps our channel grow. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we may be showing you a couple of tours of the boats that we really like this week. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.